YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we are going to do our first video with our new shop. Uh, the new building I'm using to work on four-wheelers. And a new camera. Uh, I had to get batteries for my M20s and I couldn't find them. Uh, apparently they don't sell them batteries no more except for in China. And I wasn't going to wait no two months for no batteries. So in light of this virus, I said to hell with it. I'm just going to go ahead and buy me a new camera. I've been needing to do it for a long time. And finally got a, uh, a GoPro Hero Black 7 Black. And we're trying it out for the first time. And I hope this video works out. Um, but anyway, what I've got here is... The very first big bear that I got that was in pretty bad shape and I'll show you a picture of that right now. And we've got it all to where it's standing on its own wheels now. So at least it's movable. Now I can move it around if I need to instead of trying to slide it around on a crate. But what I'm doing, I'm bleeding the brakes on it. And I thought, well, you know what? Let me show somebody how to do that. When the brakes are completely empty, all your lines are empty, brand new calipers, they're empty, everything, no, no fluid in it whatsoever. So what I've done is I've filled the reservoir with brake fluid. And in order to get these to bleed, it's very time consuming. Uh, it would take you forever and it won't gravity feed. Usually when, when I was working at Midas and we needed to bleed the brake system, when we put new calipers on it, then, uh, we would just open the bleeder, take the cap off the master cylinder and let it bleed until it starts dripping out of the caliper and then close it off and then bleed it. Takes about two or three pumps and you got it bled. But it don't work that way on this big bear. <laughs> so I'm gonna pan you down here, try to get both the handle and what I'm doing down there. And this is gonna be a little difficult because I've already done this side and now I gotta do the other side and that's gonna be a far reach for me. So we're gonna put this crate here and move this handle so it's out of your way so you can actually see what's going on. So now what we're gonna do is, like I said, I've got the reservoir filled and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bleeder completely out of this. Now you can leave it in there, but uh, it's a whole lot easier this way. That's why I'm doing this video. And we take our pan and bring it over here. I was gonna use this box, but I thought, ah, better not. Now, there's a lot of rust in the system for, from, I guess, where it's set around for so long. And we got new calipers, but we're using the existing, the, the old lines. And I did blow them out, but there's still some rust and stuff like that in it and in the lines. Uh, so it takes a little time to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is try to position myself in a way where I can use the handle or the brake lever. This side over here would be easier if I had two people, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold my finger over top of this. I'm gonna let off, and I'm gonna pull my handle. All right, well that one is coming up already. Now watch, let me show you what we got here. I got the hand off of it, 
and I'm gonna push, see how that rusts, and then I'm gonna put my finger on it and hold it, and let off the handle. Off, push the handle. Off, push the handle. On, let it go. Off, push the handle. And we're going to keep doing that until that's a little clearer. And it's getting there. It's making a mess. I'm wondering if the inside of these calipers ain't what done, done that. And the reason you put your finger on there is so it doesn't suck air back into the system. When you're letting off the handle. It's starting to get a little clearer. I better put some more brake fluid in it. <laughs> Almost run it dry. You don't want to do that, you have to start all over. <laughs> Still an awful lot of rust coming out of that. All right, well that's clear enough for me. It's gonna work just fine. So now we've got that bled, that part. Now, what we'll do is tighten this up and we're gonna pump the handle up so that the brakes cylinders come out and go against the uh, rotors. All right, now my, my handle is getting stiffer. So now I'm gonna pump it a few times and then I'm gonna hold it. And then I'm gonna let that off. You see the air coming out of it? So now we're gonna pump it up again. And you always do the one furthest from the master cylinder but in this case, it doesn't matter because it's the same distance. I'll try to get out of the way here so you can see what's going on. See, no air is coming out of that one now. All right, so now we'll go over to the other side and do the same thing. You always make sure to keep your master cylinder full because you don't want to run it dry. All right, we're going to open it. And then we're going to press, hold, and then close it. All right. And I forgot my pan. Didn't blew it all over my floor. Can't be having that. I want to paint this floor. So I don't want to get too much stuff on it. All right. So we're going to pump the handle up a few times. And then we're going to open it. See that? It's all solid look fluid. So now we should have pretty decent brakes. Alright. And then you fill your master cylinder back up. Had just enough fluid to do it. <laughs> and I don't like these screws on these master cylinders. They are about the cheapest screws I've ever seen in my life. They like to round off on you. If you ain't careful, they will.
All right, so now we've got the brakes bled on it. And I hope I got you guys in, in the shot on all of it. So now I'll just clean up the calipers and get all the uh, brake fluid off of them. But that's how you fill or fill up an empty brake system on a four wheeler. So just to recap, fill your master cylinder. Take the bleeder out of one, cut it clear out, hold your finger over it, let off, push. Put your finger back on it, and that keeps air from going back into it. Then you let off, let off the hole, and just keep doing that until you start seeing fluid. Once you start seeing fluid, just hold your handle, put your screw back in it, or your bleeder thing back in it, and then go to the other side and do the exact same thing. What you're doing is you're filling this line up here and these lines, believe it or not, takes pretty good, pretty good bit of brake fluid. So you got this line, you got this line, you got this line, all this. All this equals to more than what this here caliper will hold and the master cylinder all together. So, it's going to take you a while, and if you're going to sit there and wait for it to gravity feed, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> so, that's basically how you do it. And then once you've got fluid coming out of it, then you just pump it up a few times, hold it, open your bleeder, this here handle will start moving on you, and you do that until... You see no more air coming out of it. When you see a solid stream, you pretty much got all the air out of it. And we finally got the air out of this. So we got brakes now. Uh, now I'll go show you here my screen on this thing. I'd like to learn how to take that screen and stop it from turning off on me. Uh, I, I haven't really experimented with this camera a lot yet. So this is the first time I've used it. And... Um, I got to figure out how to turn that uh, back screen time out where the screen goes black. I don't like that. I like to turn around and look at my camera and see what it's doing. But we'll show you here what we've what we've got on the big bear so far. Now, yes, we're going to have to uh, take the rear end and the swing arm back out when we go to put our motor in it. Uh, simply because I'd like for the bike to be on the ground when I put the motor in it so I can kind of scoot it up in there easily because it's just me by myself. And here I'm pointing at my chest. Sexy, ain't it? <laughs> but here's what we got so far. We got everything together. And it's getting pretty dirty. I'm going to have to do a cleanup job before I start putting plastic on it. And we got new calipers that I got to clean up now, clean all the brake fluid off of them. And I do not like these backing plates, and eventually I am going to make a new set like I did for this one over here. If you notice on this, I did aluminum ones, and they're really nice. So I just haven't had time to do that yet. And we're just going around putting stuff on it. Got new hand grips and I left the rubber on the handlebar I gotta do some painting on the handlebar and sanding and stuff on this part right here but um, most of it's gonna be hit anyway and uh, that's where we're at we got the rear end in I got the seat ready for the cover Got my rear shock in, got my rear end in, got my LED lights for the brake light, and we got a new fuel gauge. Thanks to old Donald Trump, <laughs> I was able to get some stuff. 
Anyway, uh, this is what the shop looks like. And we're getting there. I'm going to have to shorten that bench because what I want to do is I want my two big bears to be able to go all the way back to the wall on both sides in the corners. And then I'm going to build a bench that fits in between them so I can just back them right in. And that way it'll give me plenty of room out here to work on other quads. Like that one's back. Had to put a timing chain in that one. Uh, so uh, there you have how to bleed your brakes from empty. I was going in there to see if there was an easier way to do it. And I kind of figured I was going to end up doing it that way. But I thought, well, let me go in here and see if somebody else had a quicker way of doing it. Nobody showed anything about how to bleed a brake system from empty. They show it when it's full. That's easy. You just pump up the pedal and bleed them. But when, you, when your whole system is empty, it can fool you and make you think nothing's happening. But it takes an awful lot of brake fluid to fill both of them calipers, all them hoses, them two lines, the hose going from the two lines up to the master cylinder and the master cylinder. You probably use a half a bottle of uh, brake fluid to fill it up from empty. But anyway, tell me what you think of the new shop. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.